Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to solve a complex type circuit without having uh, most of the variables in, 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 in the circuit itself. Uh, what we have here is a combination type circuit, uh, except they don't give us the, the total voltage to start off with. What they do give us, they give us the voltage drop at resistor number two. Okay, and they obviously they give us uh, all of the, the the values of the of the resistors, all of the ohmic values. Uh, resistor one is four ohms. Resistor two is two ohms. Resistor three is six. Uh, resistor four is two ohms, and resistor five uh, is four ohms. So these are the values that we gotta uh, try to solve for. We gotta try to solve for total resistance, total current, and then total voltage. So. The way I would attack this, you know, I could say, okay, well, let me just start solving uh, all of the, the resistors, you know, and find the total resistance or what we call uh, solve for the equivalent resistance. But instead of that, instead of using uh, that rule, what I'm going to do is just solve this circuit using uh, basic Ohm's law. And, and here we go. We know that we have 18 volts across R2. Okay, at the at the two ohms, so we can easily solve uh, for what the current through the second resistor is, right? So the second resistor's current is going to be based on the 18 volts divided by uh, the two ohms. You know, current is equal to uh, the voltage divided by the resistance. So in this case, uh, 18 divided by two gives us what do we get guys? Nine. nine. Nine amps. Okay. So we have nine amps that flow uh, through resistor number two. The other thing we know is that resistor two is parallel to four and five. So I can solve for the current uh, through four and five by combining these two resistors and using the same uh, uh, Ohm's law. So in this case, I'm going to do this. I'm going to say the current through 4 and 5 is equal to the voltage of uh, 18 volts divided by the 2 plus 4. So the 2 plus 4 gives us 6 uh, ohms uh, of resistance with 18 volts across it. So the current through 4 and 5 is what? 3 amps. 3 amps, right? So. Okay, so here's what we got. We got 9 amps flowing through 2. We have 3 amps flowing through 4 and 5. And we know that the relationship between 2, 4, and 5 is parallel. And the rule for parallel current is they just add up, right? You just add up the current. So in this case, the current across 2, 4, and 5 is equal to... I'll write the formula down. I2 plus I... Four, five. So we got a total of 9 plus 3, so 9, 10, 11, 12. So our total current across this, this branch is 12 amps. So knowing that I have 12 amps across these two, now I know how much current flows through 1 and flows through 3. Because remember, whatever flows into a circuit has to flow out of the circuit. So that same, same 12 amps that's totaled here is also here at R3. So the current across I3 is going to be 12 amps. And the current across 1 is also uh, 12 amps. So in essence, the total current in the circuit is going to be 12 amps. So the next step that I would do is solve for the voltage drops across uh, R1 and R3. I already know how much current flows through it and I know what the resistance value is. So the voltage drop across 1 is equal to the 12 times the 4 ohms of resistance. So in this case, uh, 12 times 4, we got a total of uh, 48 volts across 1. And we'll do the same thing for uh, 3. We got 12 amps times 6 ohms, and 12 times 6 is 672, so i got a total of 72 volts across 3. Alright, well, 
Since we know the relationship between these two resistors and the rest of the circuit, it's a series circuit, you know, my total voltage is just the sum of the voltage drops. So if I say E1 plus E2 plus E3, that's going to give me my total voltage. Okay, E1 was 48. E2 was given to us already 18 volts. And then E3, 72 volts. Okay, so 48, 18, and 72. Help me out, guys. What is it? 48, 18, and 72? Here's where we do a little video magic and cut it out. And then we come back in with the answer. So what is the answer, guys? 138. 138 volts. Okay? And that's our total voltage. 138 volts. And now that I have total voltage and total current, I can solve for total resistance. Total resistance is equal to the voltage, 138, divided by 12. And what do we get with that, guys? 11.5 ohms. Is that right, guys? Yes, sir. And that's how uh, I would attack a, a circuit like this. There's nothing wrong with solving for all of the total resistance first, like uh, doing these two in series and then do product over the sum of Carl's this and then add them up. You know, that'll give you the total resistance. But you're still going to have to come back over to this 18 volts and calculate how much current flows through here and then calculate the current that flows through two. Uh, I mean, between four and five, uh, just like what we did. But besides that, that's how you solve this type of a circuit. Uh, and uh, hope you guys like the video. And besides that, we're good. Appreciate.